Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. This is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run where we are going to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only two soldiers per mission. My name is Saiken and I wanted to invite you today to join me in Operation Gilded Sky, uh, which is the next council mission. We're, I think, in month number five by now. And <clears throat> it is looking good overall. But we're still uh, facing challenges, specifically the limitation to two men per, uh, per mission uh, is a bit harsh. We have Roby and Magister doing covered ops missions, uh, mainly to reduce the avatar progress and also to give Roby a couple of extra hacking points. So that's good. I need to, by the way, uh, get, um, uh, get their uh, soldier spawn going. Uh, secondly, we do have a couple of wounded uh, soldiers, long-time wounded soldier at Gallien Poe, uh, just severely injured in the um, in the um, uh, uh, retaliation mission, and Zirkim, who is still injured from uh, his last cover ops mission. We can certainly get both of them ready. For now, we need to do a uh, deal with Ranvan. And um, since I do not know how else I will be able to do the mission um, other than sneaking through, we're going to use Eltrana uh, here to help us sneaking through the mission. What I did is I bought uh, talent for Ranvin as well. Um, he will now also have stealth, so the two of them will actually stealth through the mission. Uh, for Ranvin, I uh, gave him the mind shield in anticipation that the warlock might show up. We just need to assassinate uh, the target um, if we can, or if it is worthwhile, might as well just knock it unconscious. That might be an option for us. Um, if we can't do that, uh, we're just gonna call it quits and try something else. Uh, I'm willing to simply assassinate uh, it the AD Intel are very tempting to take, but um, first and foremost, we can't lose the mission because else we lose North Africa. And we also don't want to lose the tower which is installed there. So we really need to make sure that we successfully do Operation Gilded Sky if possible. Might be a rather faster mission because we're actually going to sneak through uh, the entire, uh, the, the most of the mission at least. Um, yeah, and it's. Menace one five, target location confirmed. Move to engage. Eliminate all hostile contacts. The squad is concealed. Hey, look at that! Did I mention uh, the continent bonus is absolutely phenomenal? Phenomenal. I mean, look at that. We got another additional unit yet again on a mission. Third time in a row. Which is so, so important for our run. Dragonova really scouts out the entirety of the block here. For non-Dragonovers, it doesn't look so good, right? I mean, everything like this, uh, this tower here, this turret here, this group here, everything seems to be uh, pretty bad in a pretty bad spot. So let's see if we can somewhat wiggle our way through it. Fourteen turns is usually enough time. Copy that. Specifically on an all stealth run. With three soldiers, I even feel confident uh, uh, to. somewhat uh, kill a pack or two. Oh, what? Spectre? No, thank you, sir. No, thank you. 
entity is actually a swarm of tiny robotic units. Yeah, what appears to be just a normal enemy is actually a really, 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 really annoying uh, type of enemy, which we don't want to deal with without blue screen rounds. Okay, so we're going to remote start this shit and uh, just kill everyone here. Um, but we're going to do this once we have actually passed most of this here. So if we were to move over here, I think is, yeah, there's uh, the way to climb up. Good. Moving up. Affirmative. What appears to be a single enemy is just a swarm of douche. I really don't like uh, specters. One of my, after the f <laughs> four men, uh, ballistic only uh, run. Probably one of my most hated uh, types of enemies. Alright. So the shortest path would be up here. And it was moderate difficulty, one pack here, one pack here, one pack here, and a tower. That's already moderate difficulty, so these are all the packs that are available. There is nothing on the rooftop. I am to obey. So remote start, remote start, remote start. Well, Here's the deal. We will probably be able to. Um, I mean, we will definitely be able to kill uh, the VIP. Like that's not an issue. We will probably be able to um, to get rid of one squad of them without being uh, discovered. It's not a problem. Fortunately, those guys don't move closer to. Oh, look at you. Well, I stand corrected. They move closer. The AI smells that something is wrong. Eight points of damage won't be enough to kill those guys. Hmm. I mean, blowing up this here would kill a single, single one of them, and that's pretty much it. Um, blowing up all three of them with the claymore would kill. A Sun Lancer and severely injure the other two so that we can effectively take them. Which I think is worth it. We're still having enough time.
All right, they move to the car. That's fine. For now, we're we're totally okay. Just moving far enough away, so we're not standing next to one another, and for whatever reason, being um, targeted by rockets. This here is a perfect opportunity as well. Oh my god. So we can slowly kill those guys. Hmm. I'm thinking uh, the time runs down more and more and more and We somewhat need to get the... If we want to get the civilian, we somewhat need to get there and start start actually loading it up. Uh, the idea with, um, uh, with Renman could be that he's just charging down, basically takes a single shot, and then evex out. We still can explode this here and get out. So but our time is running uh, short. We can kill those without being revealed, but it'll take two turns. Um, and I was hoping that these guys here would stand a bit closer to one of uh, the targets so we can actually remote start them and kill them. Because we can, theoretically, we can still do it. Like that's two fields away, so this one guy here would, uh, the one soldier here would die. Theoretically we can still um, uh, be successful in the mission, but it requires us to actually get off one really, really solid remote start. If that's not happening, um, this is unfortunately not going to work out. Um, One way of dealing with the situation is getting out of line of sight, killing those two, we would reveal our expendable soldier, killing those two this turn, that would break stealth for these here. All of those guys would be activated. Problem is, I don't see them actually running somewhere near any other car than this here. So maybe we just wait one more round. Because if we activate all of the packs, they are no longer staying so beautifully close uh, together. This here is going to be a kill. Without the chance of being revealed. Okay, hmm. Yeah, we could move up here. Problem with that is we will trigger everyone and we would use uh, lose the opportunity to kill uh, those guys here maybe our uh, maybe our 
our option would be to just kill as many as possible and get XP for it. Maybe even get loot. That's also an option, but that we need to decide this right now uh, before the VIP, before, before we make the decision whether or not the VIP is supposed to live. I think I could live without the intel. I don't think uh, that these guys realistically will just move up here or back to here. It's not going to happen. So that window has closed, which means we might as well just kill the VIP. Give me time to reload. Stand clear. Status confirmed. Target eliminated. All right. So we're still fine. We have eight rounds. Moving to Overwatch. Roger. I've got my eyes on it. Those guys here seem to know what's up. And there are the reinforcements, all right. Okay, time to reveal ourselves, get a nice little kill. And get out of here. Wow. All right. Our resistance contacts had heard rumors Advent might be rolling out a heavy infantry armor system. Looks pretty tough. There you go. Bye bye, Mutant. And see you later. Nope, and yes. So now is a good time to distract these guys. There's, by the way, some loot down there. Moving over here. That here could be a beautiful hit. Alright, move to the car and hide there, guys. Close enough, close enough. Just out of curiosity, like if I were to move, hmm. I 
I was just thinking through if we could uh, somewhat get the loot and get out of here. Let's first and foremost take a look what kind of loot we're talking about. Again, this unit here is expendable. Superior scope is really good. Nope. Hmm, I want to play the safe, and just moving down is pretty much the opposite of playing it safe. Up here, it's a very, very, very safe uh, situation. I'm reloading. Still got a couple of turns left over. Could have almost killed him, but... It would have gotten down to a 50-50 because it wasn't clear if we would have dealt enough damage. By killing him, the other um, soldier would have died as well, the trooper. This here now is much more favorable. Taking the loot. Superior scope is ours. And uh, this here will mean we're getting out of here. We are known to them. Doesn't matter. See ya, guys. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Yeah, overall an okay mission. We did not get the um, 81 Intel, but we got a superior scope, which is phenomenal. It's really, really good. Dragonova will probably be in the sick bay for about 10 days i would assume she was tired before yeah she requires some rest she's now shaken for 14 days we should give them a few days off to recover if we can manage it Luckily, she apparently hasn't gotten any negative um, any negative effects out of it, elsewise it would be here. Good. So, she's still well and good. Renman is also tired. Oh gosh, our roster at the moment is pretty exhausted. No, we don't want to have increased region income. We're okay with uh, how much we earn at the moment. Matter of fact, we got we're okay on supplies in general. What we really need uh, uh, is another engineer. And for now, we also need to heal faster. So we're giving up a bit of intel that we could generate in the meantime.
just so everyone recovers faster from the wounds. How is the sick bay currently looking like? So we got Renman and Zirkim, that's a good team. I like it, like it. Uh, and Outrider and Etienne and Poe, I mean, yeah, that'll just take some time. One of our crew was injured. Engineer, 20 days. Alright, which means... We're down to two engineers. And excavation here almost stopped. Additional tactical strengths if they continue their training together. All right. Uh, did I just mention? Yeah, nice. Six days of bond training. Let's hope nothing is happening because we're really out of options at the moment. Nice. Very nice. We have succeeded in our task. Look at that. Hacking increased by 4. Gained XP. Both of them actually gained XP. So good. Okay. Um, I think we had a promotion here. And if we were to take Zirkim. I mean, that's only 7 days. And it's a promotion. It's a question. I mean, look, Zirkim is major, so uh, getting him up would finally get him to the uh, uh, corporal rank, uh, colonel rank, and that would be great because we have a maxed out soldier, which is really, really good. Um, same goes for Renvan. We could also play the same game and say, you know what, we want to increase um, Magister's rank, right, and just continue to to work with him at the moment, letting those guys do the missions effectively. And we're basically training uh, this team here uh, because the, the high level Templar is also a force to be reckoned with. I still think finishing the training with Zirkim and promoting him is the better choice, most likely. To be honest, because major to uh, uh, to uh, corporal is a really really long time, so skipping that step is well worth it, and yeah, that's the main argumentation I would come up with. Promotions are really good. One of the few ways for us at the moment to really make sure that we're not falling behind the curve. There's one promotion. Could also consider getting help, and bo uh, both both of these would actually be helpful. Like getting the Reapers further leveled up, getting health, and creating a better influence. That's not bad either. The certainty is also not bad. The bond threshold is good. But I would consider probably the the fixed rewards, specifically the health ones at the moment, are really, really, really helpful. Um, so either promotion or health or mobility. Either of that is fine. I think we're going with promotion for now, whenever available. So Let's first of all make sure these guys have a bond. Which is great. Let's second of all make sure we can skip the training. Yes, that's good as well. 
And here we go with the promotion. Zirikim is going to be promoted. It's going to be joined by Ranvan. And we're putting one scientist on it as well. Okay, so that's good. I actually like it. And maybe we can get some more uh, plus health in the future. That would be helpful. And look at us. We have the potential for a scientist, which is great. A sergeant ranger. That's not bad either, but could be better. And an engineer, which is probably what we need at the moment. Hidden event um, versus a scientist. I think we might want to uh, go with the uh, with the engineer. Destroy alien relay is not too easy. Sabotage transmitter is likewisely difficult. So I think. By the way, this here has a loss in it, which will give us more experience. It's not bad. I like it. Um, I would need to think about it. For now, let's just fly over. And we also have just finished the GTS. Guerrilla Tactics School. One more. One more hour. Come on. There we go. The reason why I wanted to do that prior to the missions is it allows us a couple of things. Number one, getting PCSs. Number two, we can get a couple of upgrades. Uh, if we are captain or higher. Um, a couple of them are actually quite good. Mentally awake, for instance, is super good. So let's just take a short look. In terms of personal combat sims, we do have superior conditioning and advanced conditioning. Both are pretty good because they improve your survivability. And in terms of survivability, maybe we are giving this to Roby and Magister. Roby already had a plus one uh, to health, so might as well give him the superior conditioning. Yes, please. Which finally increases the health to. 10 and give him the same so they they have as much health as they would normally uh, have with um, with uh, bigger armor and that's pretty helpful because uh, they actually fight they are not trying to bypass or kind of uh, sneak their way through the mission like outrider and edgallian paul would so yeah I think this year is the end of uh, this video, and we're going to uh, look into uh, the Covered Ops mission in the next video. I want to thank you for taking the time in watching it. It was a pleasure as always. If you enjoy the run and the content in the channel generally, subscribe and please leave a like. I know I repeat it, but it is actually helpful for the channel. Um, share the content with others if you want, uh, or just leave a comment. That's how you can help uh, letting YouTube know that the content is good and it will be recommended to others. Thanks so much. Have a great day and uh, see you soon.